Hello and welcome to the Harriet Miller Art Channel, giving you the techniques to produce amazing artwork. Today I've had a request to draw a grizzly bear, so this is what we're going to be producing. Get yourself some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. And don't forget, if you like to draw animals, you can download my free PDF of how to draw horse galloping, which you can find in the link just here. So let's get started. Okay, so to start off our grizzly bear, we are going to start off with a circle just on the left hand side of the page. This is going to be the head area. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If you like, you can draw around a coin or something round, but that's not, you know, it's not essential that it's perfect. Okay, so next we're going to be drawing an oval shape that overlaps this circle, which is going to be the famous shoulder hump of the bear. So this large muscle is actually one of the most identifiable traits of the grizzly bear. So our bear has the hump. <laughs> anyway, sorry about the bad joke. So let's do this oval shape. Don't forget if I go too quickly, just press pause and rewind. So here's the oval shape. All right, so. Carrying on, we're going to be drawing another oval shape, but it's going to be a little bit wider and longer. So it's going to overlap as well. Don't forget not to press too hard. I'm only pressing really hard so that you can see it on camera. But it's gonna be quite hard to erase if you press too hard. All right, so here's this oval shape. Remember, these are just preparatory lines, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, you with me? So we're going to be drawing one of the legs. So just come down, straight down, just like this. And we're going to go across. Okay. And then the back one, we're going to go diagonally. And then down. So this is where the ground's going to be. So let's just draw in the ground just so that we know that our bear isn't floating in the air. All right, so we're gonna do the front leg. So starting here, draw a line coming diagonally to the right, go down a little bit and then the foot. And the same, this is diagonally, get to the left. And then this one's just slightly in the air, just like that. Okay, so we're going to do the muzzle area. So that's another oval shape like this. Draw a line across for the nose and two little eyes. There we go. And let's add in the ear. And then another little ear. So you can kind of see that it's a grizzly bear, sort of. Okay, so that's the end of stage one. Okay, I'm now going to switch to pen, but please do carry on in pencil. This is just so that you can see it on camera, so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to start with the hump. So I'm going to join the hump up to the lower part of the body. So I'm just going to draw a line going across like this. It's going to follow this oval shape. I'm just using these kind of furry lines, these little wispy lines, lightly with the pen or with the pencil. Coming all the way so I get to about here. Now I'm going to start by doing the hind leg. So it comes outwards. You can imagine this line goes through the center of the leg. Comes down, round, and then comes down towards the paw. Nice big paw, some big long claws. Comes upwards. Draw some furry lines and it comes upwards like this, goes further up, crosses this oval shape, going to carry on further up still till we get to here. Okay, so from here I'm going to draw the tummy, tummy's going to come down a little bit, going to carry it on. We get to there. Now we're going to come upwards and we're going to join up with this oval shape. So come up and here's the oval shape. So I'm just going to draw 
some furry lines coming down till I hit this line that I just did. Okay, you with me? If you've come this far, you are doing so, so well. Keep going. All right, so we're gonna draw the other hind leg. So starting here, draw some furry lines coming all the way down. Okay, there we've got to add in the paw. Remember, the more that you practice, the better you get and the better your hand-eye coordination is. So if your drawing doesn't turn out the way that you want it just now, just remember, you know, just keep on going. In a few drawings, you'll really pick it up and you'll get the hang of it. So let's just follow this line going upwards like that. I'm going to add the claws in. There we go. Okay, now for these front legs. So starting just here, we're going to draw the back of the front leg. So this comes round all the way down till we hit the ground. On the ground, that's where we find the paw. Now, here's a fun fact for you. The front claws can grow up to four inches long, which can be the size of some people's fingers. So they are huge. I would not want to get into a fight with one of these grizzly bears. So coming upwards. So pop in the comments section if you've ever seen a grizzly bear in the wild. I've heard quite a few, but um, I've never actually seen one. So this is coming all the way upwards until we hit again this oval shape. Now we've hit the oval shape. We're going to go round, follow it round till it hits the circle. Okay. We're now going to follow the circle round using these little kind of furry lines, as I call them. All the way around. Following the circle all the way around. All the way up. And remember not to draw over the ear, we better add in this ear. So here's one ear. And here's the other ear. Like that. Now for the other front leg. So we're going to start just here. Coming down. And then this leg is just slightly above the ground. So just there. Draw in the big old paws and the big old claws. And let's throw it up round like this, all the way till it hits the head. Okay, so, oh, sorry, I didn't join up the head with the shoulder, oh dear. So, there we go. So that's the end of stage two. Now is the time to go over all this detailed area in pen. So just go over what I've just been doing in pen, and then we can erase all the pencil lines. Okay, so here's our faceless bear. Um, I haven't erased it completely. I can still see just where the little markings on the face are. So what we're going to start off with, we're going to actually draw the edge of the face because it's not this line here, it's not this circle. It's more like a heart shape. So starting from the bottom, we'll work our way going upwards. So if you can imagine the shape of a heart goes up, comes in slightly, just like that, and then goes up again on this side, and then comes in slightly towards there. So it's like a heart, like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make this bit a little bit darker there. Okay, so next we're going to add in the eyes. So there's one eye just here, and one eye just here going to draw in the eye sockets and colour them in, just leaving a tiny little gap white just to show the reflection of the light. Just about to see the eye sockets underneath it. Just like that. Okay, so next is going to be the nose. So the nose is going to actually come down a bit more. 
like this, like that, and then that's the nose, and underneath is going to be the mouth. this. Okay, now we're going to draw the rest of it. Comes all the way up. And the same on this side. Comes round. To underneath. a darker fur just coming down the center of the face just like that also a patch of darker fur just above the eyes can you see that okay and then a patch of darker fur around the nose just like so one on the other side. Okay. And then just around the eyes again. Just drawing lots of little lines. Underneath the chin. Again, lots of little lines. Like this. So just like that. Now we're going to add a bit of shadow. So we're just going to add a little bit of shadow just underneath here and here. Just going to do a little bit more detail on the face. Okay, that's looking a little bit more realistic. Add some dots for the whiskers, just there. Okay, just add some more fur on the inside of the ears. Make it a little bit darker. Okay, and the same on this side. Just like that. And it's a little bit dark all around this one. So just keep on adding more and more fur. Just these little lines coming all the way down okay I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna go all the way down here I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit Okay, so we're going to add in this ground area again, which you seem to have lost. And 
we're going to add a little bit of shadow underneath just to show this bear is not flying in the air. So there we go. Here we are. A little bit darker just underneath the bear. There we are. Excellent. So now we've finished our bear drawing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit subscribe and like. And to discover how to draw a lion, click on the video here right now. See you on the next one. Bye bye.